morning. It's raining. Wonderful. All right. We got not a super busy day, but kind of a busy day. We have a delivery coming today, and it involves this thing. Yep, we are getting seed today. We're getting corn seed, and we're getting a load of bean seed. They're going to put the bean seed in here for me, so I don't have to load it later. It's going to be loaded already for when we start planting soybeans. I can just pull it out of here, auger it right up that into the planter, and we're good to go. Corn seed is coming on, in bags. Um, because we're only planting 115 acres of corn this year, it's kind of a small amount, and it's like 40, I think he said 45 bags. So that's coming on a pallet as well. Um, this thing, we got all shined up. Look at that. She's purdy now, but we have paint that we're getting so we can paint these rusty rims. And then this should be good to put up on the for sale block. But I'm, I'm pretty pleased with the way it turned out. It needs to be washed again because I have wax splatter. Um, on the the bug guard and up on the windshield and so we're going to wash it and kind of clean that stuff off but it actually turned out pretty nice it's not bad for a 30 year old truck i will say that it looks really good for a 30 year old truck i didn't show you this this was another another project we started yesterday the lawnmower on the farm it is an all-wheel steer lawnmower and this thing is 25 years old it's it's an older tractor well the back steering wheels are really loose well all of the ball joints and knuckles and bearings and everything are bad and loose in this thing so we spent the money to get all new um u joints and turnbuckles and ball joints and everything for this thing Parts are supposed to be here today. I'm skeptical if they'll show up today. If they do show up, it'll be late, late to later in the day. But we are going to be working on this as well, hopefully. If not, Monday, this will be a project. Um, it's at the point right now where if it's going to be a little while to get parts, we can put it back together and use it because we've been using it for the last couple years. Kind of wonky like it is, but we'll see. This is another project I want to get going. This hasn't been started in a couple years, so I want to I want to get this up and going because there's some ditch lines that we want to hit with the saw blade on this thing and kind of knock down. So yeah, I'm going to work on this this morning while I'm waiting for seed to come. Once it quits raining, because it should quit raining any time now, I have to hook this to my pickup truck because I don't want them loading this just on the jack because they're going to be putting like 11,000 pounds of seed in this thing. So I want it hooked to a truck for loading purposes. So now that you're all caught up, it's time to get some work done. Oh, I do want to show you this. I made this the other day. I spent like five minutes on it. But because it's been so moist around here recently, um, we don't have a boot scraper down at the barn to scrape the mud off our boots so we can get in our trucks or go in the barn or whatever. So I took an old T-post and I cut it into three sections, welded it together, painted it, and turned it into a boot scraper. I like it. Works good. Wondering if I could sell those. Maybe sell them for 15 bucks a piece. I wonder who'd buy them. All right, I did 
get the weed whacker going. Um, I also just received a phone call saying that seed is on its way. They're leaving their place right now. It'll probably be, I don't know, 20 minutes, half hour before they get here. So I pulled the seed tender out, opened the tarp, got it ready to be filled. Skid steers ready to unload the corn. Now just waiting for the seed to arrive. Seeds here. Look at that. <laughs> Pretty fancy. They got a remote to control their auger and everything. are going on. seed guy just left we've got 11,490 pounds of soybean seed and then a pallet of corn and this is all of our corn seed for the year look at that enough to plant 115 acres and they gave us a goodie bag hang on I haven't even looked in the goodie bag yet all right, let's let's see what we got in the goodie bag here. Look at that! We got gloves, a few pair of gloves. We got hats. Nice. Rain gauges. I was actually just thinking about a rain gauge the other day for the barn here. We got three rain gauges. And then something else. Oh, thermometer, stainless steel thermometer. That way you can check um, ground temperatures, things like that. So I also have the paperwork for the soybeans that are in the seed tender right now. And that tells me um, pounds per unit. And it also tells me how many seeds per pound which that's kind of helpful when it comes to calibrating the planters, things like that. So I'm gonna place that right in there. So come planting, when I switch over to do soybean seed, I can grab that thing and figure out our calibrations. All right, we decided to paint the rims on this before we sell it. And I saw this trick on TikTok where you use playing cards around the rim so if you see it on TikTok, it's got to be true right so we're going to see if it works there you have it TikTok was not wrong it actually worked relatively good still got a little bit of overspray but not bad 
So we are doing it on the other side as well. Leave it to TikTok. All right, guys, we are uh, we're getting close to plant season now. Um, I have my starter fertilizer that's going to show up in two days, and not tomorrow, but the next day, I'm gonna go check a couple of the fields that we're gonna plant corn in and see if it's dry enough that I can get in there and start working some ground. Um, if I can get in there and start busting the ground open and getting it drying out quicker, then I'm going to do that. And then the next day I can hopefully plant. So we'll see. We'll see how it uh, works up. All right. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you in the next one.